expert way of getting down the slope. Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. There are so many more of you here now and it's so exciting. But since there are so many more of you, I might just do a quick introduction so you know where you are and what channel this is. So my name is Cecilia and I've lived here on Svalbard for five years. So Svalbard is an island in the high Arctic. So it's governed by Norway. So we speak Norwegian here. I'm Swedish though, so I can speak Swedish because the languages are very similar. But Svalbard is an island close to the North Pole. And that's where I am right now. So I make videos about my life here. And today we're making a new video and I think I'm gonna go hiking because the weather has calmed down. As you can see, not as much of a snowstorm anymore, which is very good. So I'm gonna go hiking because I haven't been on a hike in a really long time due to the weather. And I just long for the poles and sweating up a mountain. So that, yeah, we're gonna do that today. And this little boy <laughs> needs to get outside and do something new. He's actually quite of a liability on these hikes because this hike is very steep and he has a tendency to chase rolling snowballs downwards. And we've had many issues with this, but I feel, you know, practice makes perfect. Let's continue and I'm gonna put on his little vest so he knows we're going to work and it's gonna be fine. Today it's not that cold at all. I think it's even plus degrees. So I'm gonna start saying all of this in both Fahrenheit and Celsius, cause I have most viewers from America. So I am gonna start saying it in both, but until I actually learn what it is, I'm gonna write it on the screen. So right now it's plus two degrees in Celsius, which is in Fahrenheit. <laughs> I'll put it in there. Uh, yes. So first things first, I need to get my stuff ready. Since this is a very easy hike, I'm not gonna bring that much stuff. I'm not gonna bring boil, boiling water and you know flare gun and everything. I'm just gonna bring my shotgun because we have polar bears here, so I need to bring a shotgun. I'm gonna bring my camera, obviously, and a, like a smaller camera bag, maybe the one on the side, I think, yeah. And then I need a tripod as well. How the hell am I gonna carry that? So if you like this video, please just leave a like and also maybe subscribe to my channel. It makes a world of difference. I'm so excited to have so many new subscribers and that you guys made it here to my channel. So if you like my videos, just subscribe maybe and I can keep doing this a lot more because I wanna start making two videos a week now. But now I need to change. Okay, so we have thermals on. These are, by the way, from a Norwegian brand called Devolt. Very good, quite thick actually. I think maybe a little bit too thick considering this it's only two degrees Celsius out. But then on to this, we take these pants, which I use for everything. They're from a brand called Klettemusen, which is, I think, a Norwegian or a Swedish brand. Sweden, maybe? But so they're very good, they're Gore-Tex, they are windproof, they are just very comfortable and this keeps you warm and covered, you know? Very good outer layer, I must say. And I think the key to really good winter clothing is have pretty like big clothing, don't have it too small and it needs to be, everything needs to be wool. <laughs> It really does. So instead of a puffer jacket, because I'm gonna sweat on this hike, and puffer jackets have down or polyester in them, and literally just become balls of wet sweat. <laughs> no, but they become very wet when you sweat. So I'm just gonna take a wool jumper and a windproof jacket. And I have a feeling I'm gonna take jacket off because hikes are sweaty. And I just have a feeling that this is gonna become warm. But so again, super thick wool jumper from the same brand. We also have a lot of them homemade. Uh, but this one I use when I go, oh no, I did a big run. 
I did a big thing wrong. Also, have the pants outside. <laughs> there we go. Otherwise you're just trapped in your pants. I'm gonna start becoming very warm very fast. So we have this one. And then I have this jacket. It's from Arcturix. It's ridiculously expensive for being a windproof jacket. We're talking like 900 bucks or something. I, like, I don't even understand. But I use this all the time. Oh, the freaking time. I bought it like three, four years ago. Three? And it's just my main jacket for everything. It's so good. I even use it for snowmobiling when it's not that cold. So I guess that's why they're very expensive. So I'm gonna wear that one. Also, bringing crampons. These are snow lines. You put them on your shoe and you have little spikes underneath. Extremely good for heights. Because they're very easy, very cheap. But you strap this on your shoe and then you have I guess it's not really crampons, because crampons are proper like ice hiking boots things, but their version of it, I guess. All right, let's head to the next station of getting ready. All right, let's get your stuff on. Come here. Come see. Come. You look so good in this. This yellow is your color. Wait a minute. No moving, please. There. And then you're gonna have this one on. Huh? This is Grima, it's your name. Okay. Why are you my kids? Come. Oh, Chris. Thank you. Makes me happy. Alrighty. And my booties. And again, the biggest tip. I have size. 42 in these because I have big feet, but also because big shoes means very warm feet because your feet will heat up the air in here, making your shoes so much warmer than if they were small. It is the one ultimate trick for getting proper like winter boots by big shoes <laughs> like i can't stress it enough it change changes your life i'm starting to feel ready i have everything on and he is so ready it's actually snowing a lot more than i thought okay it's not snowing a lot but it's a little bit more than i thought but i think it's going to be a nice hike feels nice Okay, so here I have some stuff that I need to bring, and here I have my gun that I need to bring. And I have a shotgun for polar bear protection, so this is what I carry. I brought this with me, because Christopher is gonna use it later. Grim's over there waiting for me. It's beautiful weather outside. It's super crisp and not cold. Just beautiful. So now I have to take this to the car. It's only two degrees cold. So let's head into town. But we're going up there. Right up there. My room is freaking out. But yeah, so the village is right down behind us. And we are heading up this mountain right here.
so beautiful. I have to film some on my phone because it's a bit easier. But look at that view behind me. And I'm like literally at the star. I've gone for four minutes. Woo! already and it's been like 10 minutes. I'm a fast hiker. I power through and then you know I just work through the insane pain of cardio but it's going really well so we're gonna keep going. The wind is picking up but still okay. It's a beautiful view. I think it's gonna be crazy windy at the top though. So yeah, let's continue. Hello, bra. How he stays hydrated. He eats snow, don't you? Can you see how steep it is? This is the very steep part. I'm not sure you can tell, but it is. We have two hikers after us there. We're doing great. You're beautiful. You sitting so nice in the steep hill. Yes, look at that. Oh, yeah, yeah, so pretty. We have the moon. Go to Bra. Go up. We'll continue. We're actually almost at the top. We're so quick. Crampons are a must here. Helps out. You want to go? The last bit. My lungs are on fire. Whoa, it's sweaty. But we're doing really good. I think it's been like half an hour or something. I mean, my record is 24 minutes, but that's not happening today. The snow is quite difficult to like get a good grip, grasp. I don't know. It's not easy to get good traction, but. We're doing well. We're almost at the top. This boy is an athlete, so he's just pissed off every time I stop. Look at him. He's like, why do you have to stop? Grim? Hello? What are you smelling? Are you doing okay? Stop whining. All right, let's go the last bit. Woo! This part is incredibly sweaty because it's like walking this way uphill but it's not for super long so the best thing is just to gun it just walk 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 but you don't want to fall backwards here a little tumbling game wrong way Whew. how beautiful I love quarter night hiking it's gorgeous there it is, our destination. We did it, Krim! Well done! Yeah, you! Look at that view. So this is what we were hiking to. And in here, there is a post book, a post, wait, what? No, it's a tour book. <laughs> what am I saying? It's a, it's a book. And this place is actually called Vardem, and the plateau is there. I'm not gonna go that bit. It's a bit too windy. This is just enough. So now I'm gonna 
sign this one. in here, Celia and Graham, and we put this one back in there. than trying to walk down because it's that steep but this is a great hike to do when you're up here on Svalbard because it is very close to town uh, it's quite easy even though it requires a bit of cardio and it just gives you the most amazing views but of course you need to go with somebody who has a weapon or a gun or a rifle because there can be polar bears anyway anywhere there has actually been a death up here a girl was attacked by a pole right here and she was killed. So now, I'm gonna head down. Grim, what are you seeing? Dude, what is this face? Look at the fluff. What are you seeing? Grim, hello. Please talk to me. Don't ignore me. I need to head down now. I always freak myself out. Especially when he's sitting like this. What are you seeing, dude? Stop it! Getting down a slope. Woo! Come on! It's <laughs> pulling me! Oh my god! Hold oh, no, down, dude! You're gonna kill me! Yes! Oh my god! Yeah! Shut up! Oh, good dog slid! Yes! Good! What is the barking for? Come here! Oh wow! Great job! Great job! <laughs> Okay, rocks. <laughs> but yeah, that was the uh, half of the mountain. 